This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for the Anglo-Japanese Sports Car Championship, the clash between Japanese sports cars and British sports cars. So, um, we go from... Okay, uh, yeah, same five races, same prize money. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. We use the, an American car here. We have to use a Japanese car here because we can use a British car on this one. Uh, the Japanese car that I want to use will be the... Hmm, I, I actually didn't think about this thoroughly. Uh, fuck, what do I want to use? I'm just going to go ahead and just browse through random shit. Browse through the used car dealerships and see what we, we can find. F4 race? Ah. Gotcha. Oh, wait, Mitsubishi? You know, I remember this car having a really kick ass um, racing modification. Let's go to 92 GTO. Why not? Obviously, we're not going to max it out all the way. But, yeah, that looks really good. That's sick as fuck. Okay, I like that. I'm in love. Um, yeah, we're going with that. I like it in, in purple or blue. Whatever color that is. It looks... It's like purplish blue. So, I just want like 400 horsepower. 480? Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll go with the Stage 2 Turbo. Stage 2 Turbo, sports transmission, and, like, nothing else. BPR vibes? What's BPR? Sorry. <laughs> I'm not really sure what, what BPR is. I'm, I'm dumb. So, yeah, we'll just go with transmission stuff, and then we'll just do sports suspension. Like, we dropped the weight... And the core has plenty of power. It is, it is kind of heavy still, but I reckon this should be good enough. Mario 3 Speedrunner. Nice. Okay. So, the Mario shoes? Oh, those were the vans, weren't they? Okay, so anyways, this core is too chunk. Um, We don't really need speed. We just need grip. So, soft tires it is. That should be the only upgrade we really need here. I mean... Pumas? Oh. I thought Vans did a Nintendo drop recently. Okay, who do we have? A Griffith? Okay, that's a significantly different field. Still some heavy hitters in there. There's no Cerbera. The Griffith is going to be a pain in the ass, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Excuse me. God damn it. That that chicken's making me belch a little bit. I had chicken earlier today when I went to work. Yo, the zest with the tier one six months, my dude. What's up, cousin? Oh my god. Okay, yes. Okay, a little bit too much grip, but the difference is night and day. Also, Griffith 500, for those who don't know, the livery is different in this game than it is in the American version or the international release. Okay, yes. This car has so much more grip. It's kind of an understatement, of course, but like... Or, yeah, understatement. But... Jesus Christ, we can actually turn the fucking thing now. Post-race viewing? I can kind of see it in between the game and the chat. It's a little difficult to see, but yes. I think it has Wheaties. I'm not sure. Whoops. Super Taiku, yes. Dude, any car that you can think of? Actually, dude, just in general, okay. Here's the thing. I always thought, until Matt J made his video that I saw, I don't know when, I, when it came out. Um, yo, Timmy, what's up, man? How's it going? Um, I always told myself, like, no, nah, these cars are always all fake. These are just 
PD's creations, you know, these racing modifications are all fake, blah, blah, blah. No, they're all Super Taiku cars. Yes, exactly what Nick said in chat, or Mr. Dr. Professor Mac. I, I keep calling him Nick because that's his name. Um, what he said in chat. All the racing mods in this game, like 90% of them are all from the Super Taiku series. Thanks for the host, Timmy. Dude, I don't know anything about Super Taiku, but the fact that like... What the series was in the 90s is what where all a lot of those cars raced, like the spoon fit, exactly as you said in chat. Um, it just seems like a badass series. Doesn't Super Taiku have the Sakuba 9 Hour? Isn't that the series that hosts that particular endurance? Oops. Oh, I see. Well, all I know is that there was like an N1 class that had like the Spoon S2K and some other cars like those. Like, dude, I don't know. The Sakuba 9 Hours was such a cool race. Like, only judging from like the Gran Turismo cars that you read in the description, it's like, oh, this competed in the Sakuba 9 Hours. Like, oh, that's where the Spoon S2000 race? Fucking A. A plus. Um, yeah, Wheaties. Basically, Super Taiku in a nutshell. Arthur, you're gonna have to DM that to me. I want to see that later. Dude, I still need to watch... Um, I still need to watch that whole one and a half hour highlight of, like, JGTC from, like, the early to late 90s or whatever whatever it was. Link in a series in the race? Oh, got it. Okay. But yeah, just in general, dude, Super Taiku had some really amazing cars. Maybe next week, Tusho. Maybe next week. Maybe next weekend. Uh, I want to finish Death Note first, and then also, um... Fuji 24? Wow, okay. Hey, because isn't Super Taiku... Yeah, I want to say, isn't Super Taiku just, like... The main attraction now is GC3 cars? So from GT3s to Miatas. They run everything, yeah. So basically it's like what the Nurburgring 24 is, but J Japanese. Jay's Racing still runs their fits. That's so cool, dude. I mean, that explains the Honda Fit ownership. TCR. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna check the replays out real quick and see what where I save the replay for the US Japan meet. High speed ring. Okay. I try to get a shot of like the two nations cars to the side, so I want a shot with the Aston or the um the Griffith. The best comparison? Got it. All women's Miata team? That's sick as fuck, dude. Dude, you love to see it. You love, like, I love to see that that kind of, like, that kind of, like, um, what's it called? Trailblazing, that, like, just that kind of movement in general. We need more of that. Okay, those are sick as hell, dude. I just saw the, the Mario shoes. Like, you know what I'm really excited for? The Indy 500, the Peretta Autosport slash Penske entry with Simona and the all-women team? That's gonna be really cool, dude. Dude, Japanese motorsports is amazing. Like, it's so unique. It's so damn unique. I mean, you could say that about any mo any country, really, because it's not like it's not like NASCAR really exists outside of the U.S. Let's be honest, the Whalen Euro Series is it's cool, but it's not really Xfinity or Cup. And then also, like Stock Car Brazil doesn't really exist anywhere else. It's not like we have that in the U.S. But there's something about Japanese racing in general where it's like the multi-class racing where you're like GT3 cars and then little Honda Fits, like all these different categories. It's just so cool. Like how can how can you not love Japanese motorsports?
Hey, what's up, Roots? I'm not a, I'm not slandering the Wailing Euro series. I'm saying it's cool, but it's not really Xfinity or Cup. Like, it'd be cool if they had more ovals. I know there's not really much ovals in Europe, but they have some oval in France that I saw a race at before, and then also they have um, Euro Speedway Lausitz. They have Rock. Well, I don't know if Rockingham. I think Rockingham was destroyed or something. I don't know. Point is, there's some ovals that they that they can utilize, but they mostly do road courses. Yeah, Stock Car Brazil is more like a V8. Is more like supercars. But isn't like the safety level of Stock Car Brazil pretty much almost like non-existent? Like, don't they run tracks that are like suitable for like the 1980s or 1990s? Yeah, exactly. Where though? Yeah, it sounds like VLN or it sounds like the Nurburgring 24, um, Nick. That France, yeah. Okay, that's the one I saw. That France oval parking lot track where it was like a flat oval. It looked like a parking lot. I was like, oh, this is neat. Van Ray in the Netherlands. I not familiar. That's another oval, see? The car are very safe. Okay. Yeah, dude, I remember, like, okay, I remember, like, Elio Castroneves in 2013. I remember reading, like, oh, he got injured in a Stock Car Brazil, uh, in, like, a Stock Car Brazil practice. He, like, smacked the wall. It was just pure concrete and barely any, I think it was, like, concrete and barely any tires there. Like, barely any wall of tires or bed of tires. I was like, Jesus. Middle top. Oh. So kind of like Darlington? Sort of? I like your cut, G. <laughs> Baby Darlington. Got it. Darlington slash Motegi. Actually, Mo eh, no, more like Darlington. You don't really run the high set at Motegi. Damn, that NSX is a huge run, but bump draft. Yes. I'll do it again. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm not racing anymore, so yeah, I can't do it again. This is 21st priority. It has a first, but it's not the first one. Alrighty then, that's race number two down. Move on to race number three. Back to the high speed ring. I'm going to save the replay at Grand Valley East. Because it's kind of a pain in the ass to like edit the photos to actually have shit be visible, especially during the night in a PS1 game. For the thumbnail's sake, eh. But yeah, I mean, Stalker Brazil in general is just like, dude, I know the tracks are dangerous, but like, dude, some of them are just cool as fuck to look at. I don't know any of the tracks, but it's like, if I see just any random videos on YouTube, I'm just like, damn, that place looks sick. Yeah, pretty much, but even then, then the photo looks weird as hell, Nick. Call him vintage. <laughs> then again, dude, what do I know about, uh, what does my country know about safety? Most of the tracks here are literally like, like pipsqueak dirt ovals that have nothing but concrete walls and like the fencing is just like metal poles. And then people drive literally like cars that weigh like sprint cars that weigh nothing that have like big ass motors in them and then they barely like make one small m mistake and then they just go flipping and spiraling in the air. So what the hell does my what, what does my country know about safety in motorsports? Absolutely nothing. Except for big tracks of course. That's the man sport. Dude I will, I will like, okay, look, I've told myself this many times, like, yes, motorsports is super fucking dangerous, you have to accept the risk, but if there's one thing I'm not accepting the risk for is doing midget or sprint racing, nope, I don't have the balls to do it, absolutely not, drag racing as well, absolutely not, no thanks, like, NHRA shit, no, I would never, like, one of my 
life's my, one of my lifelong goals is to go 200 miles an hour. I don't need to go 300. And, and motorcycle racing as well. No thanks. I, I'll learn how to drive. I'll, I'll learn how to ride a bike. I want. I want a motorcycle license. But racing them? No. Damn. The Griffith with a huge suck. Yo, Russell with the raid. What's up, dude? How's it going? How was the rest of the Wreckfest stream? I know I caught it for a bit. I gave you a sub, but um, I took a nap afterwards. Like, not because of boredom. No, no, just because. Uh, no, I, I had to. I had to get some sleep. But um, yeah. Hi, anyone coming from Russell stream? My name is Elmer, aka the Moving Chicane. I do like a lot of like competitive sim racing, so, like Gran Turismo, i racing. I do casual shit like GT1. So if you like that stuff. Hit the follow button. If not, thanks for supporting Russell because he's a really good floof. Barney with the follow. Thank you so much. You're tired too? I don't blame you, man. The servers are being dumb. I need to get Wreckfest. Diglett. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Like, I recently just got Blur. So, I, I do want to play, like, uh, through um, unconventional means, I got Blur. For PC, so uh, yeah, I I do want to play with some friends. Sob with the five months, thank you so much, my man. Thanks for continuously supporting me. One million credits, uh, Japanese version. That's why. And so translated to um, uh, American currencies is just ten thousand. That's it. Yeah, it's in yen. I was gonna oh I I was gonna do Grand Valley East for the thumbnail, but I decided to do high speed ring instead. Wait, no, I did high speed ring already. I'm dumb. I'm just gonna okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna save another replay. Screw it. Wait, when was that Cosmo in there? Has that Cosmo always been in the race? I didn't even notice it at all. It's just been vibing. Thunder, you're probably just like, are you an idiot? Like, the answer is yes. I'm very dumb. The hardest version? I mean, I don't know if I would say it's the hardest version, but more than anything, the soundtrack is just really, really, really good. And royalty-free. Not that I care about royalty-free music. I don't really care. I don't care about demonetization on YouTube. Don't give a fuck about it at all. Um... In actuality, it's literally just, uh, I just love the music. Forza Horizon 4 random invites? Ooh. That is why I disable all notifications on my streams. Because, um, when I was, when I started doing competitive GT, and, um, I started getting into, like, the top 10 times in the leaderboards and stuff, uh, I used to get, like, so many friends requests a day, and literally people just... DMing me asking me like can you help me get faster it's just like no like I'm sorry but watch like I, I would I would just reply like download my ghost I don't want to be a dick but it's like dude I'm not gonna tell you like every little detail to like not just one person that especially someone I don't know and then also just like a bunch of random people like no I, I got shit to do <laughs> like I don't play this game 24-7 and also, you have guys like Mr. MCA who do lap guides, and who are much better than me. Oh, see, I didn't know that. I thought to myself that this version of the game was the same as every other one, except... Well, localization's not a thing, because... Every car was Yuno's Roadster, every car was GTO in every version. But, more than anything, I thought it was just the soundtrack that was different. Like, the soundtrack in, in general is just really amazing. That's literally the reason why I'm playing this. And also, I want to be different. Because everybody plays either the PAL or the American region versions, and I want to play the Japanese ones. Same with GT3, because uh, I want to get the Lamborghini Diablo. Moon Over the Castle. Honestly, mm, like, okay, I love both intros. The Moon Over the Castle intro is really good, but the Chemical Brothers one... Oh, it's so nostalgic, dude. Yes. Yes, dude. I agree, Nick. 
No, yeah, definitely roots. I'm looking at A3 and A8. A1 is... Oh, A1, A3, and A8. Yeah, sub. Um, that's a version I need to track down because if it's the same as the Japanese one... And it, 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 it seems like to me that the Korean version is literally like the pinnacle of GT4. That's like the best version you can get. Russell, me too, bro. Me too. Like, that particular soundtrack, dude, it's engraved to my memory, but at the same time, there's no denying that I love this soundtrack a lot. It's so good. Uh, I think he means US because um, NTSC is just like a... It's, it's basically just like a mental shortcut that everyone says to um, to just refer to the American version of anything. Bro, music in general is just amazing. <laughs> like, it, it's crazy. Like, isn't it crazy just like, what, like, just like video games and just like anything in life. Like, music can invoke so many emotions out of you. Just like, whether it's like joy or sadness or whatever. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, the two feeder songs, Sweet 16 and... Uh, I forget the other one. Uh, thumbnail purposes for YouTube, just like Rhino. Four feeder songs? Dude, they Sony Entertainment Europe really love feeder. I mean, who doesn't? They're, they're cool. Yeah, it's for the YouTube, just like Rhino, like I'm, like I said before. U.S. version, Japanese version, EU version. Yeah, but I think it's kind of like a, like a heuristic. You know, it's just, just like a, it's just a shortcut. Most people just automatically associate, like it's just a mental shortcut. Most people automatically associate NTSC with U.S. I know it's kind of weird because it, Japan has NTSC as well. It's part of their the region code, but I don't know. Sweet 16, Tangerine, Chicken on a Bone. Okay, Shade and Chicken on a Bone, I don't know. I know about Tangerine and Sweet 16. Midnight Club LA? That's a game I need to play. I need to play Midnight Club 2 first. Like, once I'm done with GT1, obviously I'm talking about when, when we get to, like, the month of May. Or who knows what who knows what my life would be like in a month? You just never know. Um, when I actually can stream more often and at random times. Uh, so I did play through Midnight Club One Boo uh, on YouTube. But um, yeah, Midnight Club Two I want to play. Like like the plan is beat Most Wanted 05 because I still need to beat it. Um, uh, what else? I was gonna do Carbon right after, and then after that, Midnight Club 2. Hey, lurk all you want, enjoy yourself, Russell. Thanks for the raid, dude. You know I love you, brother, and, um, yeah. Hope everything's going well with you, man. I need to, ca I need to catch up with you. But anyways, um, yeah, also, yeah, a pat, a pat for our favorite fox, for the, the best floof. Um, so anyways, um, yeah, that's my plan, essentially. The solo butt spanking. Dude, you know what's weird? The first Paris race, I have to use a bike. I have to use a bike. I don't know why, but I cannot use the torque, whatever the hell that R34 is called. I have to use the bike, either the European one or the Japanese one. It doesn't matter. Torque JX, thank you. Hey, but yo, shout out to the people who can beat the fucking game with the Kokote or whatever that escort's called by doing the fish tailing uh, glitch where you just get infinite amount of speed. Like, shout out to all those people who can do that because I, I don't understand. <laughs> I legit don't understand how the fuck anyone, anyone can actually do that. It boggles my mind, really. I'm just like, 
dude, you're literally fishtailing the car and you're still like, <laughs> you're still racing. Yeah, very quick handbrake taps, but still, dude, it's much easier said than done. Like, like any speedrunning trick, it, you have to master it. You beat Sawa just using the Saiku? Ooh. That might be a strat that I try. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Here's the thing, though. The PS2 version on the... Yeah, what's up, John? The PS2 version... On, um... Oh. Got it, got it. Even then, even then, Tusho, it's still difficult. You know what I hate the most? The final race in LA, where they have that stretch of checkpoints at the very end on the freeway portion in reverse with full rush hour traffic. You know what doesn't help either? Gina. Gina makes Savo's battle even more insufferable. Because it's one thing to constantly hear you know, Savo's funny lines. He's like, yeah, I mean, he's not the funniest of characters, but it's it's one thing to hear his lines, but it's another to constantly hear like, come on, come on, you're almost there. Like, shut up, please. Like, don't tell me that I'm gonna be the world champion when I'm in like the middle of an alleyway trying to dodge telephone poles in Tokyo. Like, please. Like, can you tell me this at the beginning of the race? It's the same problem with our racing evolution where like, if you play the story mode, they give you story plots in the middle of the race. Like, I, I think it's the 13th chapter of our racing evolution where you're doing like the the vintage race. And then all of a sudden we're like, that Eddie dude comes on the radio. He's like, like on the last lap in the middle of a sector. He's just like, like Stefan told me, he me like Stefan told me he has a plan. Like I'll talk to you about it after the race. It's like, dude, shut the hell up, please. I'm just trying to race, and not fucking. Me thinks you're champion. I am champion. Also, it's Friday for me. Well, yes, it's important plot, but at the same time, it's like I don't need plot in the middle of the game. That that'd be like playing a Mega Man game and getting interrupted by by you know like like dialogue bubbles in the middle of a. Oh wait. Mega Man X5. What do I get? Ooh. I'm in love. Regional champion, John. We're not at the world championship yet. Oh, yes. That fucking race, dude. The team orders. Fuck the team orders. I remember I, I was, as a kid, I was like, no, I'm not finishing second. I'm winning this race. And, uh, yeah, uh, Stefan wasn't too happy. All right, one more regional to go.